Hi guys, again, it's me, Ryanez, or Princess Raya, or your girl Raya, back again with another video, and again, this is for Planner Tombs 2. Now, I'm really sorry if I'm doing another Planner Tombs 2, but this one here is another technique that you guys can use using two Kelvins, and I'm back with actually with a really cool group, and here they are. Da -da -da -da. I have IOEZ, I have RAW, and I also have here Ripper Float. Now, big shout out, by the way, guys, to these people because these are like legit timed runners. You can actually check on the maps. They Their names are all over Arlor. So they do the timed run. So I am so proud to actually be running with them. And I really appreciate um, IOEZ, Raw, and Ripper Float's time that they actually spend with me to do this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Because seriously, guys, like if you look at their stats, I am seriously the weakest link. Why? My stats went up to like a thousand, but I am really cheating because I'm using a damage elix. Yeah, I know. Spare me. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, as you would notice on my other videos, usually whenever I do this run, I only focus on the boss, like the technique on the boss. But since I'm actually with um, these really cool timed runners, I I would love to do the video as a whole so at least they, you guys can see how they pull mobs and how pretty much how efficient they do the map. And yeah, and how I actually hide behind IOES or IOEZ's back or Oz's back. Whatever doing this run. I'm sorry, Oz. It's just like you're strong and come on, I'm weak. I'm a rogue and I'm super slow and as you can see Raw, I think Raw is using the haste set the venomous haste set that's why he runs super fast he's like the flash and me I am like the slowest rogue wearing my gown and running like a maniac there <laughs> anyway as you can see um, if you would notice on the whole map just watch how they pull the mobs on one specific or on specific areas because Pretty much, even when I'm running alone with my um, with my guildies or with my friends, that's really the most efficient way um, on pulling the mobs into one area and killing all of them. So at least you can get the boss to spawn. Now, seriously, if I do this map, um, it usually runs around. I'm already like six minutes there, and I'm still on the last part where you pull the mobs on like the bridge there and that's and seriously these people are really fast but i think they're still playing around because um if you notice their time um their time whenever they run elites they can go like below one minute that's how good they are so pretty much the trick here is we are doing two kelvins like how are you gonna run with two Kelvins? So pretty much, as you can see there, both of um, two people are using Kelvin. So there's a red zone on Sorax wherein he releases this curse that has a high critical and can kill you in just one hit. Now pretty much the trick is timing. So on that first red um, zone, one of them will use Kelvin and then the other one will be waiting for that second one. Bam! And pretty much when you do that trick, it gives the time for the first person to cool down his AA and then as well as for the second person to cool out his AA on the fourth spawn. And seriously, this is the fastest time that I've really run this map and that's pretty much the technique that you should know. One is proper timing, proper cooperation between the members and at the same time, yeah good communication so that's it for this video see and i really appreciate you guys watching thank